Hi everyone, my name is Tomek and I am the part of the Quantum Organization and today I will cover the topic of quantum cooperation and contribution in open street uh, Our agenda is something about us, about the company and the team itself. Then we will talk about the cooperation, contribution and our projects which are being shared currently. And there will be a time for some questions. So first, the uh, slide is about our team, but I want to introduce myself at the very beginning. Uh, I am Tomek, and I'm working in Hong Kong uh, for 10 years. I was a uh, cartographer at the very beginning, so I have uh, experience in mapping itself in general. And that's a base for understanding the community and the needs and the mapping itself. Of course, there are like differences in between two structures, but still, uh, it's easier to review the data, to think about the data, to see the structures in the models. Uh, for the community and partnership team, we are responsible for building this ecosystem, so the relation between community, us, and the partners. So we want together to create the best map in the world, let's say, uh, using our knowledge, our experience, and uh, our capacity in general. Because, of course, we as a quantum have the capacity and uh, people who can support the different projects and the uh, activities. Um, next slide is about our team. So the main part is the core team responsible for uh, the project program definition, project execution, setting up uh, the strategy, and for, to collaborate with the uh, community as said. So we are project managers, of, um, operational managers and community relations managers who works on establishing the contact and reaching you out directly or as a group uh, to talk about the possibilities within the countries to improve the map, to share the leads, etc. There is a local intelligence team. They are responsible for supporting us with the local knowledge, uh, data specific questions and the language uh, specific cases in case of uh, the country which is not operating English as an official one because there are some countries who want to uh, contact us in their own languages. Uh, additionally, there is editing team, about 25 people in India. They are supporting the community requests, so if we know that someone wants to mm -hmm. work on some topic and they have no capacity, we are supporting them with our uh, with our that's it. Yeah, and that's the division. So as you can see, we are international team uh, consists of uh, team members in in United States, Poland, Belgium, Amsterdam, Netherlands, uh, Italy, uh, Northern Africa, South Africa, India, and uh, Australia. Of course, for the local intelligence team, um, these people are working remotely, and there are no offices in each country. But we are trying. To cover as many countries as possible to have a possibility to reach out. And about our <coughs> cooperation. So there are a couple of pillars which you can see. The first one is map improvement projects. So right there we are sharing our leads with you and as a project so challenges in map red, but not only because we are trying to release the notes as well trying to share the sources in some kind of user-friendly uh, format so you can work on that, you can uh, see what's going on, what can be improved. Uh, next point, connected with the first one, so data leads and shareback. Um, as said, we are generating the leads for the inconsistencies of the data or some kind of different types of initiatives, which will be introduced to you at the end of this presentation within the TomTom project section. And except that we are trying to mm, share another sources like program probes, which are optionally released. Uh, there was another um, tool as a map metrics, but right now we are focusing on program set. And we are working on sharing the sources with you, different ones not used within our projects, but the local ones. So if you are interested, you can reach us out, then we will see what possibilities we have in our project. Uh, another part is the training. So we are trying to provide the training for people who want to start mapping because there are a lot of uh, countries where the community is not uh, there and we want to share the knowledge about the 
MapLet itself to, uh, let's say, start creating the challenges in the projects for the data improvements, but as well basics of editing in OpenStreetMap so people can enable the, their powers, let's say, to start uh, uh, collaboration and contribution to OpenStreetMap. The other case is map editing parties and meetup events. So we are uh, holding this kind of events in our local offices together with the communities. We are inviting them and we are inviting uh, our people, so homers, but not only. These meetings are being open and we want to as said, share the knowledge, uh, uh, like um, not extend, but uh, how to say that. We want to give you something from us. And then you will give something for us. So we, you will learn us how to model the data, how to create the structures, how to edit the data correctly. We are uh, trying to gather the people to cooperate to contribute to be involved. Uh, the other part are OSM conferences like this one, so State of the Map Baltics. Um, as an interesting case, I want to share that today actually we have another uh, lecture in. Uh, State of the Map uh, US, and tomorrow there will be a lecture on State of the Map France. So our calendar is quite packed for different regions, and we are trying to contribute as much as possible to share the knowledge and share the information, what actually we are doing, and that we want to cooperate with you. And the collaboration part, we are working with OpenStreetMap Foundation, we are the part of OpenStreetMap Foundation, we are working with all awesome chapters, local ones as said, and we are collaborating with uh, and to make this one better. So right now we will see a couple of real examples, real work examples from these pillars shared earlier. So I don't know if you uh, are familiar with the teams, not the teams, groups like Geo Chicas, Meninas de Dio. Uh, this is Brazilian groups of young women who want to develop their careers. So they are trying to gather as much knowledge as they can. We are trying to support them not only with the knowledge itself, we are showing the hardware to make it easier. You know, it's kind of cooperation to enable people to join us and to uh, make them up better. Another case is OSM, Kana and Julia. Here, uh, the same, our uh, team member is trying to share this knowledge, because the, the sharing the knowledge and training will be like a common word in this slide, because that's our purpose. Just to uh, share something, to learn, to extend the possibilities. So as I said, we are supporting young girls with the education and uh, the skills development, career development. And last but not least, uh, Catalyst India, same format, so supporting young women uh, with uh, extending the skills. Another part, and that's like our favorite one, because, sorry, right now I forgot, but I remember that I'm not here. Oh, right there, there's Domi, my colleague from team. You can meet us at our table, of course. And together we've met with the local uh, university department, actually the one where I studied. So it was quite a nice opportunity for me to get back to this building to see my teachers and uh, CDM students willing to support us uh, with editing the data. For this case, that was a Mafutura event, and we were focusing on editing restaurants, shops, and pubs to uh, use this data for educational purposes. We've created a map of the growing uh, cities and how it is changing in time that the cities are being extended and so with that infrastructure is being extended as well. So OSM is not only used by the companies, but as you can see, as uh, the educational purposes as well. Egypt. That one is growing and enabling the community because there was no community at all. Our friend Hajar, uh, who is responsible for Northern Africa, uh, trains community how to create the project, how to edit the data, uh, plus there was some kind of GIS um, lectures as well. So again, skills development and collaborating together. With that, as an enabler, it's easier to meet together, to talk together and to match together. So 
first meetings were held with our support, and then we know that the community is growing day by day with the new members. Tanzania, and that's uh, case sensitive because uh, we are supporting the growth to map uh, organization who support uh, fights against women because you know that there were accidents uh, against women. So mapping rural areas in Tanzania supports the organization to get there just to rescue these uh, young girls uh, before the take place and as a compound support that uh, the Tanzania community and the organization were providing a training session on challenge creation and editing itself. So missing roads uh, were added to the map so it's easier to uh, reach right there. And the one I'm gonna uh, train, so it was mentioned previously, Kaja um, is helping this kind of sessions on a monthly basis mostly to extend the knowledge of MapRelet itself to learn with us, to cooperate, and to uh, map together. And what about our contribution in the map? So, uh, there are 772 unique mappers right now, from the beginning of 2023, uh, contributing to our challenges and projects uh, within the, with the data shared by us, when the written shared by us. We are in 115 countries and we've held about 12 meetups. Interesting thing is that more than 55,000 of leads tasks were used to improve the map on behalf of Hongkong. Uh, we are supporting as well the humanitarian uh, cases, so it's not only talk with the organization itself, like humanitarianism, but it's supporting the projects executed right there. When we heard about uh, earthquake in Turkey. We have local chapter right there, so we immediately meet and decided that it's time to support uh, map creation and improvement. Uh, as you can see right there, almost 100,000 of map changes were introduced, mostly for highways and buildings. Mm, we are not only supporting this Turkish uh, case, we are supporting as well Italy, and uh, Brazil for this kind of humanitarian activities. And what about the projects, compound projects? So, as first, the possibilities of the cases, the data which can be shared with you, which we can generate, <coughs> but it's not all, of course, mm, it will be covered at the end. So, for highways buildings, we are trying to include the missing buildings and missing highways challenges, uh, the other types of issues like isolated roads, missing surface on our access type, inconsistent inter intersection of the data, or the analysis crossing highway and crossing water, so buildings are crossing each other. Of course, we know that there are barrier cases which are being shared. We are improving the processes still to see what can be done to provide you as accurate data as possible, because there are sometimes buildings on water, and it's an edge case, so we have to figure out how to model that. That's why we are reaching you out as well, not only to ask if you can uh, just execute this project, but as well what can be improved within the, you know, these challenges. Uh, the other cases are issues with bridges and tunnels, general tagging issues and structural issues like not close polygons, so intersecting polygons, where there are problems with rendering the data. Uh, for the macro projects, you can find each country, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, we have a couple of data improvements for you, actually created uh, yesterday. So if you want to contribute, just join us at the table, we will share you the links. If not at the table, then you can reach us out. In a moment, I will show you our uh, profiles in OSM as well as our mails, so you can reach us out directly to see uh, what can be mapped. Currently, for this project, I know that we have uh, issues like isolated roads, uh, really crossing highway and inconsistencies for the bridges and tunnels. So as I said, if you want to contribute, you want to check these challenges, you want to see what's going on, just reach us out. And of course, that's the main part, let's say, because existing processes are there. We can execute them, there's no issue with the solve. But maybe you have other ideas or you know 
that there are some kind of uh, cases which should be fixed by us, which could be fixed structurally, for example. Uh, because except the manual ones, yeah, and that's some kind of uh, hint, maybe not hint, but additional info, we executed automatic actions as well. For Poland, it was a change in the speed restriction at night because the law has changed, and that's why we have to change the attributes on the map. So we better the Polish community, we've executed this process and then handled the follow of the data. So manual production was there as well to fix the data uh, in 100 percent Another case were some kind of structural issues with the double mirroring polygons. So we fixed that um, in agreement with the community for the United States, New Zealand, and Australia, because there was a massive amount of these issues and it was not possible to do that manually. For the rest, we can, of course, uh, do the manual edits because the amount is quite limited. So, as said, if you are interested in learning more, reach us out directly. OSMFTownHome.com is our uh, mail for the core team itself, then mail for Domi and for me, and you can see our username as well. So, if you want to talk with us, just like that, if you want to build a relationship, we are here for you. We are keen to do so because it would be easier to cooperate, improve the map together within your countries, not only the one which we are right now currently, and hope that this session is quite informative for you. Thank you very much. You would think he's been doing this for more than one time. I think he did an excellent job, so thank you very much. And there are questions, so uh, let me find them. Hmm, I've lost the questions. Here we go. So, uh, the first question Have you had any training or map editing sessions in the vault? Not yet, and that's why we are reaching you out because we want to do something together. Yesterday's idea for mapping uh, part was quite good for us, and we want to contribute. That's why the challenges are prepared and ready. So, if you want to meet together, for example, after the conference for one hour, we are here for you. We are staying in the until tomorrow, so why not? Let's try that. Okay, so the answer is soon to come, maybe even today. Yes. Okay, wonderful. And uh, have you had any conflicts with local communities? And if yes, how were they handled? You work in a wide variety of countries and not always uh, in a very uh, simple environment. Yeah, it's like there are some kind of situations where community is engaged and they just do not want support from our side, but we are doing our best to uh, share the message that we are here to improve them up together. So we are sharing an examples of the cases which could be fixed and getting an agreement from the communities, for example. Or there was one case where we were like, um, our message was not so, let's say, um, our message was quite good, that the community was against us. But with time and with our, let's uh, say, the sharing the knowledge, sharing the cases which could be shared, conversation, we established this relationship. We are cooperating kind of together. And we are even improving the processes and creating new processes for this community. So, if we take a look at the second question, which is related to the one that you just answered, uh, map roulette projects coming from a huge company like yourselves uh, feels like community exploitation as opposed to corporate social responsibility. Uh, how do you think that might be offset? Is, do, you, do you encounter this kind of negative, uh, negative feedback? Yeah, we always trying to share that we don't want to use you just as an editing force. It's like a common corporation. So we are sharing the data, but if you are not interested, then we are not forcing to do this kind of edits because it's not needed. If you are not interested, these kind of improvements are not important for you. So we are not using you as the editing powers and resources. We are just trying to build this common corporation. Is there any plans or possibility to detect missing one-way tags? We have to see what are the possibilities. So in that case, you can back, you get back to me or tell me. We will just grab this topic and try to explore that to see what the possibilities are. 
And you've obviously inspired your listeners because somebody's asking, if I contribute to OSN with fixing a bridge in Riga, will it also automatically appear in the Tomfon map? No, it won't because we have no commercial product based on OSN data, so it will only appear in OSN map right now. Okay, thank you very much. And thanks again, Tomak, for a wonderful much. conversation. Thank you very much.